You brought this all on yourself, you know? Hmm. Hi everyone, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42, and it's time for my take on some more diabetes stuff. As I've said before, I am a type 2 diabetic. Type 2, different than type 1, uh, even though they present with many of the same symptoms. Uh, type 2 is an endocrine disorder. They're still not entirely sure what causes type 2. Now, if you listen to people in the media, some of them anyway, Mulvaney, um, you would think that type 2 diabetes is caused by just laying around on your fat ass and eating bonbons all day. Okay, got a song for you. It's by Lily Allen. Listen to it. Take it to heart. All right. If type 2 diabetes were caused by just laying around and eating crap all day, every single fat person on the planet would be diabetic. And you know what? That is not the case. I got more fat when I became diabetic. I had always been a chunky girl, very big, big for my size, 5'11", 165, which for me at the time was thin, only I didn't know it. You know, hello hindsight. But then things apparently happened. No one is quite sure what triggered what. I gained weight. I developed cysts on my ovaries and other symptoms classic with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. I've also been told a lot of these symptoms are very similar to syndrome X and metabolic syndrome because these are all syndromes that don't really have a single diagnosis. Type 2 diabetes rides right along with them as one of them, and they don't know why all of this is being caused. There are skinny people with type 2 diabetes. There are fat people with type 2 diabetes. Yeah, I can blame a lot. Of I can blame genetics, heredity, bad luck, uh, you know, something in retrograde, who knows? But let me tell you something. Yes, let me tell you. I'm not going to blame myself. I did a lot of that already. And tried fad diet after fad, fad diet, never lost any weight because my metabolism does not let me. I am very insulin resistant. My doctor doesn't even really harp on my weight. We make sure that I'm not gaining any more. I usually stay around the same weight no matter how hard I try, but he's happy with the rest of my numbers. The rest of my health is good, except for the diabetes and the polycystic ovarian syndrome. As far as anyone saying that anyone brought any kind of disease on themselves, You think we asked for this? Especially, I feel, for the type 1 folks out there right now. Now, of course, it's bad enough. The type 2 folks, especially if you're a chunky one, you're told, oh, you're fat. That's why you have that disease. We shouldn't have to take care of you. Really? Is that how it is now? Is it? Mulvaney, the pompous ass, made a comment that some people have tried to sweep under the rug. His comment was something to the effect of, well, people are just sitting around and making bad decisions. We shouldn't have to take care of them. Like the diet, like for, they get diabetes, you know, really? Wow. You know, a lot of people are born with type one diabetes. Their pancreas is just shit. It's called juvenile onset diabetes usually because it usually happens when people are young. Something happens and all of a sudden the body attacks the pancreas and they're not able to make insulin anymore or they're not able to make good insulin or they can't make enough or whatever. There's a lot of medical stuff involved and studies and the, you know, the American Diabetes Association has a lot of information. Link below. I am not a doctor. I don't play one on TV. I just know what happens with me and this body. And I know that I did not bring diabetes on myself. Just like I did not bring polycystic ovaries on myself. 
and I did not bring gout on myself. Although some will say that it is a rich man's disease or whatever, it's also hereditary. Thank you very much. Thanks, Papa. My grandfather suffered with it for years. I've learned how to manage it. Haven't had a flare up in a long time. Just like I didn't bring flat feet upon myself. Again, heredity. I won the freaking genetic lottery. Yay me. But if I hear anybody saying, oh, you're just gonna, you're gonna be diabetic. You keep eating that stuff. Really? Open a book. Hell, open Google. The resources are out there, people. Stop blaming people for their illnesses. Do you blame someone with dwarfism for their shortness? No. Do you blame someone with breast cancer for that? No. Then how do you blame someone for a disease that they didn't ask for, they did not cause? Is it because, well, for instance, fat people are the, the only ones left that we're allowed to pick on, supposedly allowed? Is that it? I'm an easy target. Well, you can't pick on the gays anymore. Well, you can't pick on people who have brown skin anymore. We'll just pick on the fat ones. Again, the Lily Allen song applies here. Okay. I'm a loud enough bitch to defend myself to people. Also, I am big enough, especially when I stand up and present my full height, my breath, and my flabby muscles, that people tend to not say too much, at least not where they think I can hear them. Something they also don't realize, I have damn good hearing. You're talking about me behind my back, I could probably hear you. I've heard people talk about me behind my back in Spanish. Funny thing, I can understand more Spanish than I can speak. I've turned around at them and said, excuse me? Why? And I would say something in Spanish to them that was quite rude. And then they would scurry off. Defend yourself. Don't be afraid to stand up to bullies. Because that's what it is. It's bullying. Whether it's from the person at the mall saying something to you or from the government administration, it's bullying, pure and simple. Let's put a stop to it. Well, you could be nice about it and just educate people. Or you can tell people that you're going to throat punch them if they don't shut up. Whichever approach works for you. As much as I have wanted to do the throat punching thing because, hello, that would feel really awesome at the moment, I've refrained and just used my words because, to quote a cat meme, words, I has them. This has been a ranting sort of my take today about diabetes and health and bullying and, well, a lot of random shit. <laughs> anyway. Please like and subscribe. I'd love it if you would. Leave me a comment. I know you've heard about the news lately, and I know you're as sick of it as I am. I'd love to hear your take on it, too.